I'm going to show you how to use bleach to create some really cool effects when you're painting. So I did some samples first. We've got uh, coffee, chocolate, uh, turmeric, fruit tea. We've got strong watercolors, weak watercolors, um, ink, blue and black, uh, depending on what you've got at home. And then you can try painting on with bleach and see which ones actually do bleach, do disappear. And you get some quite interesting effects. Uh, here I'm trying it while it's still wet. And then I had a little go once it was dry, but some work much better than others. So you can see on this sheet, the ones at the bottom were better. I kind of wrote some notes about it and decided I wanted to try and do a painting with ink, the black ink. So I wet the page first and then I um, added the black ink, some quite thin areas, some thicker areas, stronger. Uh, painting it in different directions and you can see how it blends together and that's because I've put the water on the page first and a little bit of splattering of the ink quite like that effect and actually splattering water on too so this is just quink ink Parker quink ink uh, and you can buy it in bottles or you can even just you know get the tube out of your pen and you can see when it dries uh, you get these lovely kind of colors all spreading out so that's my background I decided that I was going to do a lion on this one and drew it out in pencil uh, it's nice and dry and then using the bleach I started working into it uh, quite a fine brush remember you get slightly delayed reaction when you're painting with bleach so you have to be careful you don't put too much on it's also quite good to wet your brush and have it slightly less dilute not dilute have it less strong so more dilute um, to see the kind of different effects you can get so just trying it out here putting it around the chin area of the lion and you can see the kind of it's almost a bit magical the way it um, bleaches the areas that you're working on and then in the next uh, bit of video obviously we'll go to um, time lapse so you can see the effects using the bleach strongly using it a little uh, more diluted with water. Putting large areas on, using my brush really finely. And then when it's sort of dry-ish, I got the black ink again and a fine brush and now I'm working back into this in the black to really bring out details like the eye area. So just working quite carefully really good to have sort of nice dark detail around the eye I think the black over the top of the bleached areas gives some really good depth to your mark making. We've got the uh, ink underneath the bleach which gives different tones of orangey yellow and then putting some black back over the top kind of gives that nice detailed layered depth to the mark making that you're, you're doing on this painting. So here it is, pretty much finished. And the nice thing is that you can always put a little bit more bleach on, you can always put a little bit more black ink on, whichever um, you feel you need to do. This next one is coffee and turmeric, and I drew an orchid flower onto it. Um, what I found when I was working is that the bleach is even more delayed in its reaction, so um, it's not, it's fairly immediate when you're doing it onto the quink ink 
um, but on here it took a little bit of time to come through so you have to be a bit careful and uh, obviously when you're using bleach please be really careful anyway um, don't do it in an area that you might have uh, a spillage and it go all over your household bedding or carpet and uh, make sure that it's quite a well ventilated room and that you wash your hands well afterwards uh, but you can you can work very safely and precisely so yeah you can see here that um, the bleaching is slightly delayed but you do get quite a nice effect and I felt that it um, once I'd done the bleaching I really did need to work back in particularly in the negative space around the uh, flowers to just to might try and make them stand out a bit and again using this time the coffee just putting a few little details in uh, some dots and some lines to try and bring out the um, detail on the orchids colour contrasts quite nicely with the creamy white where the bleaching has happened so hopefully from these uh, two pieces of artwork you can again try and create something at home with whatever you've got in the house um, coffee and bleach here and in the other one some quink ink and some bleach uh, you can chop off the ends of your cartridges if you have got any fountain pens to try and get the ink but you can get um, bottles of ink from um, place, places like Staples or uh, Tesco's even I think sells them so it's quite readily available and uh, get some lovely effects with it so here's the finished orchid I even sort of splatted a little bit of ink into the background a bit of water um, gives it quite a nice feel. It's still slightly wet when I photograph this one. <laughs> 